Today, I'm going to share with you my five favorite SPF products for women with maturing skin. These are products that I use on a near daily basis. They not only protect my skin from the UVA and UVB rays, but they also are just full of ingredients to hydrate, plump my skin, and just keep it looking radiant and healthy. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you something. It's not a product to put on your skin in terms of a lotion or a potion, but something else I've been doing for my hands recently. When I'm driving and you have to see what it is, my husband thinks I'm absolutely absolutely crazy and I think I'm a genius. So let's jump right into it. I first just want to say hello. My name is Lauren O'Connell. I'm the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I am also a 40 year old mom of two living in Dubai. I've been here for 14 years. I've been under that Middle Eastern sun and I think I've done a pretty good job of keeping my skin looking as healthy as it possibly can. So a quick breakdown with sunblocks, we're going to have either mineral or chemical. Mineral sunblocks act, act as a shield on our skin. So they don't sink into our skin, they just sit on top of it and they reflect the sun rays. Chemical sunblocks sink into our skin and once they're in there as the UVA and UVB, B, I can't talk, UVA and UVB rays, the sun rays go into our skin a chemical reaction occurs once they're absorbed and those rays are dissipated from our skin as heat. Now I use both chemical and mineral sunblocks. I'll show you in just a second. And I do wanna say, make sure you always wear your sunblock even when you're staying indoors. UVA rays are the aging rays or the silent agers. Think UVA for aging. They can penetrate through glass. So even if you're just having a chill day at home, you wanna have your sunblock on because you might not feel it, you might not see it, you're definitely not gonna feel it or see it, but those UVA rays are going to be breaking down your collagen. If you find anyone that says, oh, you don't really need to wear your sunblock indoors, it's not that big of a deal, I say I have been doing it for 15 years now and it has suited me just fine and I highly recommend you wear your sunblock indoors. The UVB rays, of course, are the ones that burn our skin. So first things first, what I use every single day, I have my kids using this as well, is the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion. This is the SBF 50. I use this on my face and my entire body and I reply it often on my arms and hands. If I'm just home and I think of it, you're supposed to do it every two hours. I would love to tell you that I do it every two hours, but I'm a busy, busy woman. Life gets in the way and I don't always do that. But I do start off every single day using this. My 11-year-old son uses this. My daughter uses this. They each have one in their bedrooms and I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Now, you might know that I am an absolute ingredients freak. I love to just examine skincare ingredients. It's actually how I really started this channel. But I will tell you that these ingredients labels are the best ones I've found on the market so far that not only have the ingredients in them that I want and perform well on my skin. Um, where was I going with that? But I will say, there's nothing perfect out there. I haven't come across anything perfect. And I always say, I don't feel like I will have that perfect ingredients label until I make my own. So right now though, I will tell you, I really do like the ingredients in this product overall. And it has just worked so wonderfully on my skin. So this uh, Super Goop Play SPF 50 Everyday Lotion is an absolute must have for me. It's wonderful for women with maturing skin because there's so many hydrating ingredients in it as well. It's not going to make you feel like it's actually dehydrating your skin and you're feeling like your skin is drier than ever. It doesn't have those types of ingredients in it. Instead, it just has lots of ingredients to infuse moisture and just a lot of hydration into the skin. Now, the second product that I love to use, ooh, which one should I do next? I guess I'll show you this other sunblock. Now, this is by Bioderma, and this is their uh, Photoderm, what are they calling it? Spray Sensitive Skin SPF 50 Plus. Now, there's two types of these Biodermas. Keep in mind, I live in Dubai. We tend to get different stocks of things. There's one that has just a full yellow cap, and then there's this new white one. This one just seems to be the one that's around Dubai. It's for sensitive skin. 
This is the one that I use on the days where we're gonna be outside and just getting a lot of sun all day long. If I'm doing a big pool day, we tend to take the kids to the water park here a lot just because they love going and it's, it's guaranteed time where they're not on their screens. But this one not only protects my skin from the sun, I put it everywhere, my face, hands, I mean literally everywhere all over my body. And it works wonderfully. I will say this new formula does leave a white cast on the skin. For someone like me, I am so white already. It's not a huge deal. My son complains because he says it feels like he makes him look white. If you can find the one with the yellow top, that to me is just a better option because it doesn't leave the white cast. But I will tell you that this formula is fantastic for those big, big, big days in the sun. And what I also love about it is just this sort of Windex type of sprayer. It's just easy to squirt it into your hand. It has a milky type of texture, so I can just easily rub it in. It's great to use on my kids, and it really does just save our skin from the sun. So once again, all everything I'm showing you is a broad spectrum. That means it's going to counteract both the UVA and UVB rays. But if you're doing big days at the beach, if you're gonna be big days at the backyard pool, barbecues, whatnot, this is the way to go. So next up is a mineral sunblock. Now the first two I just showed you are both chemical. This is the Sunday, um, Summer Fridays Shade Drops, and this is a mineral milk, it's an SPF 30. And what I like to do with this sunblock is I actually reapply it over my makeup. I have a YouTube video on that, you can watch it and check it out. But if you're ever thinking, okay, they say reapply your, makeup, your sunblock every two hours, I'm wearing a full face of makeup, how am I supposed to do that? For me, the answer is to use this, get a beauty blender or some sort of blender sponge and just lightly blot it on your skin. I show you how to do that in a video. It works pretty well and it's a great way just to keep that skin protected from the sun. And this once again is gonna put a shield over your face, which might be something that you're looking for during the day. I typically don't use mineral sunblocks on their own just as my only source of protection. That's because I tend to sweat a lot and if you know my skin is so fair, it's so sensitive to the sun that once this comes off through either sweating or I don't know, whatever else I do, water hits my face, I just don't have any protection. So for me, the chemical is always the better option. But this is a great one. This is a beautiful texture. It's just nice and serum-y. So if you are thinking of using something that's mineral, if you wanna do something mineral on your face underneath your makeup, this is the one I recommend getting. And it does work over the makeup as well. And next up, I have a lip product because I feel like the lips often get forgot, forgotten about. And one of the things is, I would say not one of the things, my main thing with these SVF lip balms is the majority of them leave the most awful taste in your mouth. I have tried so many of them and to me, they are just disgusting and I can taste it in my mouth. I can't get that taste out of my mouth and I just feel like the lip balm was a waste of money. This one does not leave a taste in my mouth. It's by Bondi Sands. I believe it's an, yes, it's an Australian brand. This is their lip balm with SPF 50. I have to say, I'm a little sweaty today. I have to say that I love, love, love this lip balm and it has the great protection in it and it just doesn't leave that nasty taste in my mouth. It also leaves my lips feeling incredibly moisturized. The lip balm is a very nice, it has a great texture to it. Oops, let me get that in the camera. And it's just a typical lip balm. It is very strawberry-ish and I'm sure that they put that flavor in there to get rid of that horrible taste. But Bondi Sands Lip Balm is the way you want to go. And they do have different types of flavors. This is a great one too for kids. If you're trying to get your kids to protect their lips and they're just giving you a hard time, they most likely will like this one, as will you. So those I keep in my, I mean, I have them everywhere. I have one in my car, I have one in my gym bag, I have one in my purse, you get the point. And I love using it. 
The next one is something that I like to use in my car. Now, this isn't the funny thing I'm gonna show you. It's not really funny, but this isn't that thing. This is something else. And this is the Super Gloop Goop Glow Stick. This is an SPF 50. It's just this kind of clear gel with a slight yellowish tint. And it's so easy to use. You can just literally rub it on anywhere. And it's great for putting on the backs of your hands. Whenever I get into my car, first thing I do is put on my seatbelt. Second thing is every single time I get in my car, I put on my SBF on the backs of my hands. And I do it, I mean, some days I feel like a chauffeur. I'm just driving my kids around everywhere. I'm going to different events around in Dubai. And so every time I do it, it's a great habit I have created for myself. And it's just adding that extra layer of SPF protection on the backs of my hands. And I wash my hands a lot throughout the day. I'm sure you do too. So you want to make sure you're just always giving your hands that extra protection. The hands on our, the skin on our hands is so thin. And those, this is where those age spots really start to pop up early on. I have some girlfriends that are in their forties and they're saying to me, look at all the sun damage on the backs of my hands. Now, if you're in that position, first of all, there's no shame in it. I mean, you lived your life and there was, just wasn't as much information out there about sun protection when we were growing up. I was born in 1982. But nowadays we do have products that we can use to prevent further damage from happening and of course to prevent skin cancer from happening. And if you do have a lot of sun damage, take a look at getting picogenesis. It's a laser treatment. You go to an aesthetic clinic. Take a look at getting picogenesis on the backs of your hands or maybe on your chest if you need it. It really helps to eradicate so much, if not all, of those uh, sunspots. The last thing, I bought this on Amazon. I got them um, <laughs> a couple days ago and my kids and my husband looked at me and they said, are you serious? And my husband said to me, wow, you're really committed to this, which was his way of saying, I think you're going overboard, but I'm not sure. They are driving gloves. This came, it was in a pack. It was three for, I don't know, $10. These are UV driving gloves. So not only am I putting on my SBF, but now I'm leaving these in my car. So I was actually keeping it here just to have it on um, for this video. I have a pink pair in my car already. I had them on my Insta stories on Instagram a couple days ago. And there were a lot of shares on that story and a lot of replies. But I am literally now using driving gloves. They have grip, so I'm being safe, of course. But this is going to really help to protect my skin because when you're in your car, you are just exposed from so many angles to all of the UV rays. And I've personally noticed that I am starting to get some of those age spots on the backs of my hands, no matter how much I'm doing. And I know a big part of that is from my exposure when I'm in the car. So I have bought myself driving gloves. I am committed to wearing my driving gloves. Why not? I'm going to be in the car anyways. The time is going to go by anyways. And I know if I start using them now, by the time I'm 50, I'm going to be so pleased with my 40 year old self. So I'm keeping these hands as protected as I can. I have my driving gloves. I'll set, I'll show you the link of where I bought them on Amazon. They were, I think it was around $11 for three pairs. I could be wrong. Let me just double check. I'll link it down below. And of course, keep in mind, this video is not sponsored at all. If it was, I would tell you in the beginning. These are just simply products that I love to use and I want to share it with you. But the driving gloves, girl, get yourself a pair or two or three and who cares what anyone else thinks? Who cares? I had a woman message me today and she had started putting her sunblock on in the car and then she sent me a message her husband sent her and he had taken a picture of someone who had driving gloves on and she said, that's my next step. That's what I'm doing next. And I said, yes, do it, do it, do it, do it. So driving gloves is my new thing. And you know what? Why not? So I hope you found this interesting. If you're wondering what I use in the morning for my morning skincare routine, you can find all that information, how I apply the products, all that good stuff, what's in them, everything right here.